Hello, and thanks for being a part of Eternal Return 1.0. My name is Naja, and I'm an operator on Lumia Island, the setting of Eternal Return and the testing ground for a new race of extraordinary humans. Hey, I don't care about titles, so call me whatever you want. <laughs> if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering what Eternal Return is all about. So, let's find out! Eternal Return is a new type of survival game that combines the MOBA and Battle Royale genres. The goal is to become the last team standing out of eight teams, using skills to fight and crafting items from a two-and-a-half-dimensional perspective. Use Q, W, E, and R, Passive, Weapon Skill D, and Tactical Skill F to activate each character's skills accordingly. Tactical skills can be useful in particular situations, so it's important to know what kind of character you are before you start the game. There are 65 characters in Eternal Return 1.0, each with a different personality and unique skill set. It's important to consider the characteristics of each character and find the best combination for your survival. The experiments on Lumia Island are conducted in squads, so communicating with your teammates is key. I hope you and your teammates can communicate well and survive until the end. <laughs> Equipment used in the game includes weapons, chest, head, arm, and leg armor. Completing epic equipment is a priority goal in early game, so you'll need to craft strong equipment to get an edge in fights. There are various ways to acquire materials for crafting equipment, such as looting boxes, collecting, hunting, and so forth. When looking for items in boxes, beginners only need to focus on the essential materials marked with a yellow triangle. There is also an auto-loot function, so if you enable this feature, searching will be much easier. Materials that can only be obtained through collecting and hunting are displayed in the bottom right corner. Try to acquire these materials by collecting them from the ground or hunting. Once you have all of your materials, you can press Z to craft items to complete your equipment. Boxes that have already been opened will not have borders. Keeping this in mind will help you search and open boxes more efficiently. It's important to prepare food while searching for materials, so you can use them later during battles. In fact, this can be a decisive survival strategy. By the way, white food items can be cooked directly into food over a campfire. After you're done crafting epic equipment, it's time to craft legendary equipment. There are five types of special materials. Tray of Life, Meteorite, Mithril, Force Core, and VF Blood Samples. Let's see how to get them. The most common way to acquire special materials is collecting meteorites and Tree of Life, or hunting Alpha, Omega, and Wickline to obtain Mithril, Force Core, and VF blood samples. You can also use credits to request special materials at a kiosk. You can get them by hunting too, but I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> Eternal Return has a total of 65 characters, which is a lot of options to pick from, and it can sometimes be hard to decide which one to choose. In such cases, it's a good idea to check the difficulty level of the characters in your collection and their skills first. You can also try out the character of your choice in practice mode to find the perfect one for you. Save plans are strategic guides that help you with equipment combinations for your specific character. You can create your own save plan to play the game, or you can use the ones created by other skilled players. If you're still learning the game, I recommend starting with a save plan created by someone else. That way, you'll learn how they're put together so you can create your own combinations later on. There are 12 tactical skills in total, and any character can benefit greatly from choosing the right one for their character. For example, there are a variety of tactical skills that you can use to start a fight. Some that you can use in melee fights. Some that you can use to survive in combat. And some that you can use to help your allies. Choose wisely to turn the scale in your favor. 
Lastly, you need to select your core and secondary augments according to your character's role. <laughs> okay, that's all you need to know for now. The rest is up to you to find out yourself on Lumia Island. I'll stick around on the island to help you, though. Anyways, <laughs> see ya!